Hey guys, it's Matt here from Henshine. Just doing a quick mock up uh, to show you if you wanted to do a, a digital wax up uh, on their original teeth so you can perhaps uh, do a putty key over the top of this so that you can actually fit what you've designed into the mouth for a temporary case. So what we're going to do is first thing you can see we're going to highlight whatever teeth we're going to use for the digital wax up. We're going to click over here and we're going to choose temporary unprepared model so that the software thinks we've got a prepared tooth. Okay, so temporary unprepared model is where it's at. We want to choose that. Um, and then what it's going to be uh, also with the model, we're going to make sure we untick these three here, here and here. And we just tick this one just for a plain model. So once that's done, oh, um, let me just move this a little bit because my recorder is in the road so pretty much all we're going to do as I said come in here choose temporary on prepared model and then that's not going to really we don't need to mark the margin we can just design the tooth uh, the temporary pontic is going to allow us to delete the uh, tooth as well so just digital impression okay uh, no so once it's going to come in uh, we'll just go design so once we've done our design, everything should be saved for me. Yes. So just to give you a quick uh, run through, you know, you do all your usual trim, whatnot, set up the teeth, um, set the occlusal plane, um, <clears throat> all that kind of stuff. So we're going to go next, trim the upper, you know, do a sculpt if you wanted to, but I wouldn't do a sculpt at this point. Um, uh, because obviously we can do a sculpt later on when we're in the model builder step. Uh, margin. Oh, whoopsie. I accidentally ticked that as a crown. Silly me. I didn't even realize that I clicked on that and then cho chose crown. Let's go. What a carve up. Do you want to save design? There's always one, right? Rookie error, guys. Rookie error. No. What a goose. Design. <clears throat> all right. So as I said, um, we're going to do all that without the crown. Um, so once again, occlusal plane. You know, trim where you want to trim. Sculpt where you want to sculpt but in general as I said I wouldn't do the sculpting at this point I'll do the sculpting later on uh, in the software so annotation I'm gonna mark my four teeth here in the annotations in the software so make sure you choose a buckle one two three four like what I've done there next Insertion direction, you know, you can set your insertion direction whatever way you wanted to on each tooth. So you click on each tooth, change your path of insertion. Uh, it's not going to be a make or break thing, this one, because we don't have a, a um, path of insertion per se yet. Alright, after you've set your path of insertion, then you've got your tooth design. So your teeth are going to come in like so, something similar to this. You can then, you know, move them all around, make them larger or whatever. That's just, let's roll with this, shall we? It doesn't have to be anything perfect. This is my son's mouth, so uh, nice to see his mouth on show, right? Um, so once we've done that, you can see we're, we're getting pretty close to kind of where we want to be at. Maybe we want to not have his teeth be quite so long so we'll just bring that down a smidgen so something like that okay happy days so now we're going to go to next and that's our design done you know um once the design's done uh we can now go next and it will take you into the model builder step now what you want to do in the model builder step is when we come into here it gives you in this uh, occlusal set and, and trim preparation in the add remove tool what we want to do see how it brings in our temporary tooth 
So if you needed to, at this point in time, this is where you can remove some existing material. So if you wanted to take away anything that you had originally, if you were, um, you know, just if you were going to print this model and you wanted it to look nice, then you can do that. If you're going to be doing a putty key over the top, then, you know, maybe what you do is you just uh, leave that how it was. You know what I mean? So, um, all right. So, oh. So, anywho, that's not really important what I did there. That was just for giggles. We're going to hit OK. Um, now, what the software does is in this next step, it asks us to merge all the design with the model. So if I tick this merge the design with the model, it's then going to produce these crowns as part of my model. So if I now just hit OK, <clears throat> once I hit OK, then it gives us, you know, obviously the rest of the steps and you can see, you know, roughly, um, the workflow from here where any minute now come on computer it always takes a little bit longer when I'm doing the screen recording so I apologize all right let's just change that to a uh, simple full arch not that we need an articulator per se um, so that's that and we're gonna hit OK and then just save our model um, and that's it so that's how you do a a digital wax up um, by choosing merge the design with the model um, and on a obviously you choose the temporary on a prepared model as well and then you can just do a little bit of a morph at the very end there so that's it enjoy guys and uh, hopefully that one treats you well cheers bye